Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this really cool game called Hero Siege. Now I know normally I post uh, mainly ARPG content on my channel on YouTube and Hero Siege used to be a roguelike but it has more recently, I'd say in the past couple years, switched over to a more of like a ARPG hack and slash. Maybe not hack and slash but ARPG. Similar to like Path of Exile, Diablo 2, Diablo 3. I pretty much put Hero Siege directly in the center. Now, I did make a first impressions of Hero Siege, I think last season I played, which was season 11. We're now in season 12. Between season 11 and season 12, we've had so much quality of life <clears throat> to the point of where I'd finally start recommending this game to other people. Now, the only problem with Hero Siege right now, as, as you can see right here, connection failed. Um, these servers have been super, super overloaded, I guess, because of the massive influx of players who have joined into this most recent season. Um, so their servers have been really bad. The uh, servers actually came out yesterday for season 12. I would recommend waiting even one to two more days or until their big patch comes, just because it's very frustrating trying to actually play right now. I hit the start recording assuming I was going to be fine to connect considering I've got the green bubble, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Hold on, let's try it one more time. If this doesn't work, I gotta retake the video, Sag. So we're just gonna wait for this bubble to go green. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Go green. Do it. Do it. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Okay, this might actually work. So anyway, continuing with Hero Siege. It uh, has seasonal content, kind of like how you would see in Path of Exile and Diablo 3, where you basically... Uh, when a new league or new season comes out, you will see a massive influx of players come in and join the game. You get a seasonal border for your character. So this is my white mage, as you can see here, with the golden border from this league. So before I do anything, I'll just click and go through the classes for you guys. There is a variety of classes to be played in Hero Siege. Only eight of them are allowed for free-to-play players. Now, before I go into that really fast, I will just explain the game is not pay to win of any form. It's literally $1 right now on sale, so you can find it on Steam. Most of the classes are pretty balanced, but just like with any RPG and MMO uh, and ARPG, there is a meta. The meta is always going to favor some classes to some extent, but the free-to-play classes are totally fine. I'm playing a free-to-play class they're all totally cool. It's much better to find a character that fits your playstyle because it's very simplistic of a game. So you, you're going to be doing the same thing over and over and over. So rather than trying to go for the meta, highly recommend trying to play something that you want, right? So uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and go back and load up my white mage. Okay, so then from here you get your nice D2 interface. Um, so where you basically can have up to four people in a group. Um, you've got your difficulty progressing. I'm currently in hell because I do not have a satanic weapon So I kind of cannot pump myself to inferno difficulty yet And I'm just gonna go in and show you my character really fast and then we're gonna end the video So uh, the auction house currently is really fucked up. You kind of can't use it. It like the super laggy You can sort of use it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't Sometimes you get stuck in the auction house and you can't exit and then you get booted all the way out So this is one thing that really needs to be fixed, and this is tied to the server lag right now, they were saying, so that's that's honestly not too bad. Uh, so basically, the uh, soft progression of Hero Siege is you're going to level from 1 to 100, then you're going to get into Hell difficulty, which is this icon, after killing the last boss in Hell difficulty, which I believe is here in the depths of Hell, you can then progress to Inferno difficulty. However, going into Inferno difficulty can be very difficult because you really need decent uh, decent damage, which is usually gated by a satanic tier weapon. So you, the, the item tier rarity goes like this. Uh, you go from common, superior, rare, legendary, mythic, and then eventually satanic. Uh, and then after that is technically angelic. So right now with my character's progression, you can see we have a bunch of satanic gear. Uh, we're pretty much SSF for the most part because we have to find all of our gear. Um, and I am looking for a satanic weapon to continue my progression. So to do that, I have been essentially just farming weak bosses since, you know, think of Path of Exile. Um, the higher the tier of the monster, the more likely it is to drop like a unique item, right? So we are... Oh, Mr. Kitty, you decided to poop during my video? 
So we are essentially uh, just rushing bosses and then hoping to get a satanic two-handed weapon. And then we're ready to progress into Inferno, and then I'll have a video on that probably, I don't know, tomorrow, maybe the day after. This is a damage over time white mage. Uh, however, it's still split. A lot of my damage comes from this blue aura you see. A lot of the other parts comes from when I have this ring up. I uh, shoot chain lightnings every time I heal. And this ring is a constant heal. So you can see the chain lightnings kind of shooting out there. Should be a boss right here. This season mechanic introduces breach league quite literally from path of exile while you are clearing content on the open world you have a chance of encountering a breach it's just a red bubble when you tap it the red bubble will expand and expand and expand and expand um and then it will start to i guess contract uh and then you get these like breach shards and then after 100 shards you get to fight a boss so Quite literally, exactly like Path of Exile Breach. Uh, ooh, Chaos Shrine. That's kind of cool. Let's see what we get from it. Ooh, Goblins. Okay. That's, oh, no, but I do no damage. Okay, where are they? Where are the Goblins at? Okay, here. One of them's over here. Any other Goblins? No. Unlucky. I feel like they ran away from the bottom side and I just missed them. What do we have here? Half Eaten Moki, Tequila, Old Sock, Double Scythe. Nope, nothing good. Uh, no, I don't think anything good. Got two dungeons though. They completely redid the way their uh, system works here with how, how like the spawning of stuff works in the game i don't really know how to explain it it doesn't really matter if you're like a new player but just know that this is like a good time to play hero siege with the exception of all the lag problems it's a very good time to play the game also the big reason you don't see my character taking damage is this is a low difficulty and i am super over geared on the defensive side of things nunchucks no thanks. What else is in here? Did we go on this one or did we go on that one? I think we went on that one, right? Oh, nope, we went in this one. That's weird. It put me out at the other one, so I got a little confused. Right? Oh, yeah, it did. Hmm, interesting. Wait, what? They're the same thing? Okay, I haven't had my coffee yet. I apologize if I'm just being stupid right now. Anyway, we shall ignore that. Okay, this is Highland Mines. So from here, I would just personally reset. Okay, so to highlight some other changes. Um, under our class tree, now there's a fucking train choo-chooing, man. They don't want me to make my video. Uh, there have been, I believe, like a new class set for almost every class. So if your class set in-game right now focuses on, like, your right side of the tree, chances are there's a new class set now for you on the left side of the tree. Uh, they also rebalanced and buffed every single class other than Paladin, which was pretty cool as well. And just overall, it shows that they really want to kind of like work with their game more. I felt like Hero Siege was very different back a few years ago where the, the main developer like did not want to change core parts of his game, but now they're actually like kind of fixing it. Like relics have a description now when they're on the floor so you can actually see them. Uh, this is really nice for quality of life, so you don't have to look up every single thing on the wiki every time and just memorize it. So overall, I'm just pretty happy for the game and pretty excited to see it continuously grow. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hop on my stream. We'll be playing it pretty much all day today. So take care. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful time. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a wonderful time, everybody.